What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Earlier this month, the React channel created a kids versus food challenge where the kids tried Canadian food for the first time. So since I am Canadian, I figured why not have me react to it? I have yet to watch the video, so let's just do that right now. Let's just get right into it. I love their intro, by the way. It's, it's really nice. Yes. It's time to try another country's food. Oh no, not again! She's had bad experiences, you can tell. To explore some food from Canada. Oh, I like Canada. I, I do like too. One day. That's not too far away. Nope. Hopefully it's fine. Okay. It is. Oh, God, I don't know, follow me. No, there he doesn't. are a lot of options for Canadian food, and the food we're presenting you with today is some of the more popular native Canadian food. I know there are more donut shops in Canada than any other country because of a book that I read. Coffee I shops, maybe. Canada, so this is going to be interesting. The only thing I've heard of or tried is Canadian bacon, and I'm not even sure if that's even Canadian. All yep. I know is just, like, stereotypical, like, Canadian stuff. Maple and poutine. I am excited. And I hope it tastes good. It does. Starting off with poutine, nice. Right, here's your first Canadian dish. I see french fries. Think it's cheese or something? It looks yep. pretty greasy, I'll admit. It, it can be, clean. depends on where you get it. Fast food restaurant. Yeah, it's, you can get it anywhere pretty much. Mm, that's really good. It might be hey. like, like a Canadian in and out no, we don't have that. It's served at pretty much any restaurant. I'm not sure what kind of sauce this is. Gravy. Uh-oh. Is that gravy? <laughs> She's so excited now. That's awesome. Have you ever heard of poutine? Uh, no, but I've heard of poutine. So oh, what the? Canada's no. national food. It's crispy fries, squeaky cheese curds, and rich gravy all combined to create the meal of dreams. And this French-Canadian food Accurate. is so popular I've heard that. All around the world, and everyone can enjoy it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna eat even more of this. This is so good. What a feast! She is so happy. I love this. Okay, Canadian bacon. I don't know what this is. It looks like ham. It's probably it looks like ham, yeah. I don't want to be rude, but I hate turkey so much. So to me, I consider it bacon. thinly sliced ham, but it has like a maple and hickory taste to it. Smoky. Nobody believes in Canadian bacon. They say it's just hams. See? Smoky, right there. Mmm. I feel like I've had this before. It's like ham. This is Canadian Pretty bacon. much. Oh, I've heard that before. But this isn't like normal bacon. What's nope. known in Canada as pea meal bacon is I don't known call as it Canadian that. bacon everywhere else. I call Not it like Canadian bacon, bacon as well. The pig's belly. Canadian bacon is lean pork loin that's been brined and rolled in cornmeal. Well, it's basically like like I said, smoky, a little bit mapley, some hickory. This is actually pretty good. It's just ham sliced thin, basically, with scent that. See? Okay. See maple syrup. That's why the the Canadian bacon tastes like that. I find. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I put that on everything too. Is this maple syrup? She is so excited. This is heaven. She's the best one right now. Sydney's pretty good too. Mm, I think it's really good. The, the syrup makes the bacon taste way better. See? That's what my definition of Canadian bacon is. It's like maple -y. I knew it. It's syrup. I actually really like this yeah. combination. A little bit sweet, but also kind of. Bitter. It's like sweeter. Salty, savory, I would find not whenever bitter. Whenever I do go out to a breakfast restaurant, whenever I get my bacon, I always put maple syrup, like, kind of on it. It's the way to do it. Now. So this is maple syrup. Yep. You can add maple syrup to just about anything in Canadian culture, including poutine and Canadian bacon. And pancakes, of course. Quebec of course. Of course. Two-thirds of all the world's maple syrup. Well, thank you, Quebec, for making most of the maple syrup that I eat. You're welcome, even though I'm not from Quebec. So thank you very much for letting me keep that. 
I've never done that before, but have at her. Okay, here is the next one. Oh, gosh. Oh, these are my favorite. Looks Butter tarts. Okay, I've never seen a green one before. Yeah. You can get them plain, raisins, or pecans. I like them with the raisins myself. Tastes a lot better. Kind of tastes like a jelly donut. The bread is really No. Crumbly. Not at all. With the raisins. I kind of yep. like red stuff, but the inside is not that delicious. Maybe because I don't like raisins. So yeah, if you don't like raisins, you might not like the raisins tarts. ones. Butter tarts. In Ontario, there are dedicated butter tart trails that lead to bakeries and festivals where people compete to make the tastiest butter tart treats. Never it's heard of that. It would be really fun to go to one of those festivals. Like, yeah, but I've like, never heard of that. Like they have Putin Fest. It pretty good. I know of that. Now these here, if you don't know how to pronounce it, I always pronounce them Naomi Bears, and I'm told that's wrong, but that's how I pronounce them, Naomi Bears. Yeah, I guess. They're better right out of the fridge. Cold. I don't get that Ninoma bar. I think I pronounced it wrong there too. It's a dessert named after the city of Nanaimo in Nanaimo. Vancouver Island. It consists of three layers. The more you know. Coconut crumb base, custard flavored butter icing in the middle, and a layer of chocolate ganache on top. Mm, now I taste the coconut. If it yep. was like from the That's US, why I love them. It would probably be one of the top snacks because it's delicious. So what did you they think are. of Chinese Canadian food today? It was better than I expected. <laughs> this is probably the only one where I enjoyed every single thing. It hey! It not look as good as you think it will taste, but in the end, the Canadian food was delicious. 10 out of 10. to you guys, but they have tastier bacon. Thanks for watching we do. Canadian food on the React Channel. Honestly, that was amazing. After watching kids react for years, trying different food from all over the world, I would honestly say this is the first video, at least in my memory, that no one complained about anything. They all said they were all amazing. They never said any were gross. And to me, that is freaking awesome. Like, I mean, there's no complaints and it's my country. The food is amazing. Some of them were a little bit different and I'm just gonna start off with Canadian bacon. Like to me, like I said in the video, Canadian bacon's a little bit of, it's like thin sliced ham, but it has like a hickory, smoky, maple taste to it. A lot of people say Canadian bacon's not a thing, it's just ham or it's just bacon. I agree with that too, but Canadian bacon to me, I call it Canadian bacon and it's like I said, mapley, hickory, smoky flavor. It's like a different flavor altogether. That's what I call it there. Butter tarts are the top one on this that I enjoy the most. You can get them plain, you can get them with raisins, you can get them with pecans. I love them with raisins myself, but honestly, I'm happy with everything they chose. It's pretty accurate, everything they said about it, all the tastes, how they described them was pretty spot on, I should say myself. And I enjoy the Canadian food, of course, because I'm Canadian, so I'd say they did a hell of a job, these kids, with this video. I'm really happy I got to react to it. I never watched it until now, mainly because whenever I seen that they were finally reacting to Canadian food, I wanted to save it for a video and kind of show you guys my reaction to it. And I really do enjoy the kids react whenever they're trying different food. I love everything the React channel does, honestly. But I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.